Hello, I'm Dave Greatrex, Head of Research here at the Christian Institute, and welcome to our week of prayer. Today, we're focusing our prayers on a new piece of proposed legislation, the online safety bill. The Christian Institute has defended free speech for many years. It is an essential part of religious liberty, and that's why we're so concerned about this particular bill. Although it seeks to do some good things, the fundamental problem is that it puts power in the hands of the government, in the hands of Ofcom, and even in the hands of the likes of Google and Facebook to decide what content should be allowed online, even when that content is perfectly legal. The bill lacks any real protection for free speech, and it risks enshrining cancel culture into law. We need to pray that mainstream Christian beliefs on sexual and medical ethics, uh, on gender, on marriage, on parenting, we need to pray that these beliefs uh, will not be subjected to online censorship. What we're free to say on the street must remain free to say online too. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, how we do thank you uh, for the immense freedom we have in this country uh, and have had for many years uh, to share the gospel. We thank you for the times we've seen you act in remarkable ways to safeguard this essential liberty for your people, to tell others the good news. We don't take our freedoms for granted. We recognize that there have been many times through history, and indeed there are many places in the world today uh, that don't enjoy these privileges. So we pray, Lord, that we would be bold in taking every opportunity you give to us to testify to your grace in Christ Jesus. And we pray, Lord, that you would protect these freedoms from the threat of the online safety bill. We recognize that there are many good intentions attached to this bill. And we do pray that children in particular would be protected online. But Lord, we pray also that this legislation will not lead to restrictions on what your people can say online about your truth, about the goodness of your design for men and women, and about how they should relate, about the value and worth of mankind made in your image. We thank you that your moral law is good for all people, uh, for all time, and we pray that those who disagree with it would not be able to silence it on social media. We pray that as the bill is scrutinized over the coming weeks, uh, we pray that the need for robust free speech protections will be recognized and we pray that ultimately freedom of expression will be protected and we ask it in Jesus name. Amen.